All right, let's take what we learned about deflection angles and chord lengths uh, to do a quick little example. Here we have a simple horizontal curve. We have the BC here and we have the EC here. And I drew out the tangent line um, for the tangent at BC. Um, here in blue, I have all the equations, all four equations we derived from the last video. We have angle alpha is equal to little l over l times delta. The deflection angle delta is equal to alpha over 2. We have alpha is equal to the degree of curvature over 100 feet times little l. And then finally we have chord length, little lc, is equal to 2 times the radius times sine of the deflection angle, or alpha over 2. Okay, so this is a horizontal curve. We have degree of curvature is equal to 6 degrees. We have the length of this curve, which is the length of, uh, from BC along the curve to EC. That's equal to 1,000 feet. Uh, the station of BC is given as 25 plus 12.87. And since we know that the length of the curve is 1,000 feet, and we know the uh, station of BC, we can simply add the length to the station BC, and that gives us EC, right? Uh, L is 1,000 feet, so each station is 100 feet, so 1,000 divided by 100 gives us 10 stations. So uh, 10 stations after BC is 35 plus 12.87, okay? And what we want to do in this example is <clears throat> we want to figure out the deflection angles and chord lengths for various points along this curve. So here, 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 uh, here, so on and so forth, right? Here, here. And what we want to do is we want to figure out the stations of all these points. We want to figure out what the length is from this point along the curve to any one of these points. We want to figure out what um, alpha is. We want to figure out what the deflection angle is. So the deflection angle, remember, is the angle from here, from the tangent line, to to um, to a line drawn from BC to any point along this curve, right? So that that is the deflection angle. And then finally, we want to figure out what LC is. Okay, and LC is the chord length from BC um, to all of these points that we are going to analyze, right? So <clears throat> I set up a little chart here to make things a little simpler. We have uh, column one is stations, uh, column two is lengths, little l. So uh, the length is from BC to each one of these points. So this is LC, this is LC, this is LC, this is LC. Oh, I'm sorry, not LC, this is just L, <laughs> just L, right? So the length from BC to each one of these points from BC, right? And then alpha, if you remember from the last video, right, if I drew two lines here, uh, let's see how they connect, somewhere over here, right? Alpha would be this angle, right? And deflection angle, again, is deflection angle here. So let's start by breaking up this length in two different points. So we have station BC is at 25 plus 12.87. So I'm going to write that here, 25 plus 12.87. So the next uh, stake that we would probably want to have is some even number, right? So we'd want to go from 25 plus 12.87 up to maybe 26 plus 00, zero right? And then we'd want to probably stake out station 27 plus 00. zero. And then we'd want to do 28 plus 00. zero. And we'd keep doing this. And finally, we get to the end of the curve. We have 35 plus 00. zero and the end of the curve, remember, is 35 plus 12.87. So I'm going to write uh, 35 plus 12.87. Okay, so little l is the length from BC to each one of these stations. So if this first point right here was 2600 and BC you know is 25 plus 12.87, well the length from BC to station 2600 
or 26 plus 00, zero sorry, is 87 feet, 87.13 feet, right? Uh, 25, if you do 2600 minus 20, or 2,500, 12.87, you should get 87.13 feet. And the length from BC to maybe this next point, and maybe this next point uh, is station 27, is just simply the difference between this station and the station BC, and that's 187.13. Okay, same thing with 2,800. 2,800 would be 287.13. And you keep going, you come to station 35, you have 987.13, and then finally, 35 uh, plus 12.87, well, that should be a nice even 1,000, right? Because the length of the, uh, the curve from station BC to station EC is 1,000 feet, right? So, alpha. Let's figure out what alpha is, and I'll actually do that in a different color. I like purple. Purple is a very nice color. Alpha, uh, well, we can we actually have two different formulas for alpha, right? We have little l over l times delta, or big delta, and we have alpha is equal to the degree of curvature over a length of 100 feet times little l. And little l, we already, we already figured out. It's this column right here, right? So we are given the degree of curvature, 6 degrees, so I'm going to go ahead and use this formula. If you if you knew the interior angle delta, which would be this this angle right here, you could certainly use the first formula. It should all come out the same. So we don't we don't have uh, alpha angle for the first station because it's the first station, right? So 26. Let's go to the station 26 uh, plus zero zero. We have little l. We have the degree of curvature, so we have uh, 6 over 100 times little l. So 6 over 100 is 0 0.06 times 87.13 uh, gives me alpha. And if I punch that into my calculator, I should get um, 5 degrees, 13 minutes, 40.1 seconds, right? And for station 27, uh, 27 plus 00, zero little l is 187.13. So if I again, if I plug it into here, alpha is equal to uh, 6 over 100 times 187.13. I should get 11 degrees, 13 minutes, and 40.1 seconds, right? And remember, alpha is this angle here. The angle from um, BC to each one of these these points that we're staking out, right? So if I just kept repeating the process, the next one I should get um, 17, 13, 40.1, and and you just keep going, right? You finally get down here to station 35 plus 00, zero you'll get 59 degrees, 13 minutes. Uh, 40.1 seconds and then finally uh, once you get to station 35 plus 12.87 which is the EC I get a nice 60 degrees 0 minutes 0 seconds which is actually kinda nice um, this alpha is actually equal to your interior angle right so you just figured out what your alpha was um, from here, and you went along the curve, and you went all the way to EC. At that point, at the point where this line becomes this line, <clears throat> your alpha becomes your delta. And there's a, a simple way to check this. If I said um, 2 pi r, actually, let me do this in red. If I said, I actually want to, well, I want to do a, a quick little proof here. I want to prove that uh, little alpha is equal to big delta, right? So little alpha is, again, this angle right here, and big delta is this angle right here. We're given the degree of curvature, 6, right? 
from this degree of curvature, I want to figure out what the radius of this curve is. So if I said 2 pi r over 100 feet is equal to 360 degrees over degree of curvature. And remember, your degree of curvature corresponds to a, a, a arc length uh, of 100 feet, right? So if I plugged in, if I plugged in 6 there and solved for r, r would be 954.93 feet, right? And if I come back down here and I want to prove this, well, I can say that 2 pi r over 360 degrees is equal to the length of the curve over delta, right? That's one of our simple formulas that we derived a long while ago. Or maybe a short while ago, depending on how many videos you're watching right now. 2 pi r, and we figured out what r was, right? 954.93, 954.93 over 360 degrees is equal to 1,000 feet, right? That's the length of the curve over delta. You solve for delta, big delta, and you get 60 degrees, 0 minutes, 0 seconds. Awesome. So that's exactly what we got up here, okay? So in the next video, I'm actually going to go ahead and solve for delta, which is your deflection angle, and the um, chord length from each of uh, from BC to each of these points. Okay, and that's what we need to uh, stake out this curve. All right, so see you in the next video.